वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विद वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज ए क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम दैट इज क्यू एम एस ए क्यू एम एस इज ए सेट ऑफ पॉलिसीज प्रोसेस एंड प्रोसीजर्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर प्लानिंग एंड एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ वेरियस प्रोसेस और एक्टिविटीज इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री वॉट आर द की एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए क्यू एम एस इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल सेक्टर Documentation control, change control, division management, CAPA that is corrective and preventive actions and training are the key elements of a QMS. Below is the list of ten key elements of a QMS in pharma industry. How does a pharmaceutical QMS ensure compliance with regulatory requirements? Compliance with regulatory requirements is ensured through thorough documentation, regular audits, and adherence to good manufacturing practices that is GMP. Explain the concept of risk management in QMS. Risk management in QMS is nothing but identifying, assessing and controlling risk to the product quality through systematic processes and documentation. What role does validation play in pharmaceutical QMS? Validation ensures that processes, systems and methods are consistently producing results meeting predetermined acceptance criteria. How is change control implemented in pharmaceutical QMS? Change control is implemented through a systematic process that evaluates and manages proposed changes to prevent negative impacts on product quality. What is the purpose of a master validation plan that is MVP in QMS? MVP outlines the overall strategy for the validation of processes, systems and equipments within the pharmaceutical manufacturing environment. Explain the significance of good documentation practices that is GDP in QMS. GDP ensures that documentation is clear, accurate and traceable supporting data integrity and compliance. Which are the advanced investigation tools commonly used in pharmaceutical industry? Following are the four advanced investigation tools that are commonly used in pharma industry. First, 5M or 6M tool for investigation. Second, Fishbone tool for investigation which is also known by the title as cause and effect diagram or Ishikawa diagram. Third, failure mode effect analysis and fourth, parity charts and scatter diagrams. Explain the purpose of a quality risk management that is QRM process in a pharmaceutical QMS. QRM identifies, assesses and controls risk to product quality patient safety and data integrity throughout the product life cycle. What is the difference between corrective action and preventive action in QMS? Corrective action addresses existing issues while preventive action aims to eliminate potential issues before they occur. What are the four major types of validation? Four major types of validation are first process validation, second cleaning validation, third equipment validation and fourth validation of analytical procedures or methods. How does a pharmaceutical QMS address deviations from standard operating procedures or SOPs? Pharmaceutical QMS address deviations from SOPs by initiating a deviation report, investigating the root cause, implementing corrective actions and documenting the entire process. Explain the concept of critical quality attributes that is CQAs in the context of pharmaceutical QMS. CQAs are the key characteristics of a product that must be controlled to ensure the desired quality, efficacy and safety. Examples of CQAs are as below potency, stability, uniformity, purity, sterility and dissolution. How does a pharmaceutical QMS handle the qualification of equipment and utilities? Qualification of equipment and utilities is done through a validation process that includes installation qualification, operational qualification and performance qualification. Explain the concept of Kappa effectiveness check in QMS. Kappa effectiveness checks verifies that implemented corrective and preventive actions have successfully addressed the identified issues. 
वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ ए डॉक्यूमेंट कंट्रोल सिस्टम इन ए फार्मास्यूटिकल क्यू एम एस डॉक्यूमेंट कंट्रोल सिस्टम इंश्योर्स द क्रिएशन अप्रूवल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ कंट्रोल डॉक्यूमेंट्स प्रिवेंटिंग द यूज ऑफ आउटडेटेड एंड अनऑथराइज डॉक्यूमेंट्स हाउ डज ए फार्मास्यूटिकल क्यू एम एस एड्रेस कंप्लेंट्स एंड रिकॉल्स कंप्लेंट्स एंड रिकॉल्स आर एड्रेस्ड बाय implementing a systematic process to receive investigate and respond to product complaints as well as initiating recalls when necessary explain the concept of change management in qms change management ensures that the changes to processes systems or documents are controlled documented and assessed for their impact on product quality What is the role of a quality risk management plan in pharmaceutical QMS? Quality risk management plan outlines the systematic approach to managing the risk throughout the product life cycle including risk assessment, mitigation and communication. How does a pharmaceutical QMS ensures data integrity in electronic systems? Data integrity in electronic systems is ensured through the implementation of controls such as user access restrictions audit trails and data encryption to prevent unauthorized access or tampering explain the concept of continuous process verification that is cpv in a pharmaceutical qms cpv involves the ongoing monitoring and verification of critical process parameters to ensure consistent product quality What is the purpose of a stability program in the QMS of a pharmaceutical company? The stability program evaluates how the quality of a pharmaceutical product varies over time under the influence of various environmental factors like temperature, humidity, etc. What is the role of key performance indicators that is KPIs in monitoring the effectiveness of a pharmaceutical QMS? KPIs provide measurable indicators of the performance and effectiveness of the QMS helping to identify areas for improvement and compliance issues few important KPIs are batch failure rate deviation and kappa closure time customer complaint rate change control cycle time and audit findings closure time what is the role of standard operating procedures that is sops in pharmaceutical quality system sops provide step by step instructions for performing task ensuring consistency and compliance with quality standards what is the role of training in maintaining quality system training ensures that all employees are knowledgeable about gmp sops and quality related procedures reducing the risk of errors and non compliance What does Alcoa Plus stands for in data integrity? Alcoa stands for attributable, legible, contemporaneous, original and accurate representing the core principles that guide the maintenance of data integrity emphasizing or focusing on the importance of data traceability, accuracy and reliability. Plus stands for complete, consistent, uniform and secure data. What is deviation in simple words departure from established procedure is called deviation established procedures are referred to sops stps bmrs or bprs approved protocols like qualification protocol validation protocol or any other approved documents failure to follow instructions given in these established documents leads to deviation which are the simple investigation tools that are commonly used in pharmaceutical industry simple investigation tools includes brainstorming or group discussions report from sme yy analysis or five yy analysis personal interrogation review of previous history of non conformances and process mapping tool for investigation how do you classify deviations there should be rationalized approach for deviation classification when deviation does not affect any quality attribute or critical process parameters it would be categorized as minor deviation when deviation is causing probable impact on product parameters 
that will impact on patient health shall be classified as major deviations and in case of critical deviations deviations having highly probable impact on patient health and cause danger to patient's life shall be categorized as critical deviations keep watching farm go subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry